Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm back with yet another video for you guys and this is a wedding series that I'm doing and this is one of the videos that I'm filming for you guys for the wedding series. So stay tuned for more videos on the wedding series because this is really exciting and really different that I've done on my channel. So I'm really excited for this and apart from that uh, I have uh, like this look is really special that I'm going to do uh, today in front of you guys. And if you've been following me on my Instagram, you exactly know why I said this. If you've not been following me on my Instagram, both my handles are down below in the description box. You can go ahead, uh, go ahead and follow on both my accounts and also consider subscribing to my channel. And one more thing that I quickly wanted to mention here is I've done my foundation routine already, as you can see. And if you want to see how I did my foundation, you can go up here and watch my foundation routine and then come back here and see what makeup I'm going to create for you guys so stay tuned and let's get into the video I'm gonna start by concealing my face mainly my under eyes and my t-zone and I am using this uh, new brushes that I got from cuffs and lashes this is in the number e009 you should definitely try their brushes they're super amazing i've got some for my eyeshadow blending and they're amazing works like wonders once that's done i'm gonna set my concealer with the same brush and i'm using a compact powder here from maybelline and post that i'm gonna use some concealer uh, this is a concealer in a darker shade so i use it as a contour shade and look how beautifully it blends into my skin next is some blush i'm gonna use the same uh, beauty sponge to kind of use the blush on my face and i'm gonna place it on the high points of my face once that's done i'm gonna go ahead and set my eyebrows with this miss claire transparent mascara this is really good if you want to set your eyebrows in place for a whole day now brushed up brows are really in trend you can go ahead and try this product super amazing super duper amazing once my mascara sets into place, I'm going to use this sugar pencil and I'm going to overline my eyebrows a little bit and fill them in. Now I'll start with this eyeshadow palette from Makeup Revolution and I'm going to pick some light pink color on e005 brush from cuffs and lashes and i am using this as a transition shade so i am placing it all over my lid and whatever is left on my brush i'm gonna take that same thing and go on my lower lid on the same brush i'm gonna pick this uh, maroon shade and i'm gonna place it on my outer v and my lid so initially i'm gonna dab the product and then i'm gonna start blending it out into circular motions and place it all over my lid now on a e007 brush i'm going to pick this really dark color and i'm going to place it on outer v and my lid again but i'm going to place it a little lower than the uh, the color that i place and i'm going to start blending that out to give it a more precision can you see how I directly placed it on my crease and kind of blended it out? That's exactly how you need to do it. Now from my other Makeup Revolution palette, I'm going to pick the shimmer shade on my finger and I'll press it on my lid. So I'll focus on the center and inner corner of my lids. Now once that's done, I'm going to take this liquid eyeshadow from Swiss Beauty and I'm going to place it above the shimmer shade that I've used. And I'm going to go ahead and deepen my outer V again with the same color and brush. And once that's done, I'm going to take a brown kajal and make an eyeliner with it. And kind of smudge it with the same E007 brush. I'm going to pick the dark burgundy color again on the same brush and place it very close to my lower lash line. And once that's done, I'm going to use some kajal and I'm going to place a teeny tiny amount of kajal on my lower waterline and just going to smudge it out with the same brush just a little so that it sets in place 
and I'm gonna finish my eye look with some mascara and not some mascara actually I'm gonna load my lashes with mascara both my upper and lower lash line I'm gonna use quite a bit of mascara to give it a effect of falsies so for my lipstick today i've picked this one from sugar cosmetics this is a very pretty dark burgundy shade um, and this perfectly matches my sari and ties the whole look together which is why i picked this shade Now I'm going to use some highlighter for my face and I am going to use a fan brush to place it on the high points of my face and I'll give a very subtle glow to my face. I don't want anything like not a blinding highlighter. So just a little bit of highlighter on my cheekbones, on my chin, on my nose and on my forehead. Now I'm going to take my damn beauty sponge and set everything in place with that. Uh, this will just make sure that everything is seamlessly blended into my skin. There are no harsh lines visible and the makeup looks pretty natural. So I'm going to make sure of that like so. And uh, if you don't have a fixing spray, you can go ahead and use this technique. This will make sure that your makeup lasts and stays in place all day without moving. So this is the final look. This look is really special for me. I have already worn this look for a wedding and I really liked it on myself which is why I thought I'll shoot this look so here are the results this is how the makeup has turned out please do let me know in the comment section below if you like this look or not so these are some photos that I have taken with the light on And here are some photos without the ring light. Uh, this is purely natural light and without any filter. Please do subscribe to my channel and keep following for more. Bye.